Hello and welcome to uh, 1.4b. So uh, last time we just talked about parts of a fraction. Oh, you noticed my hair? Yeah, I got inspired to go get um, my hair colored between the last time and this time. So yeah, doing something new. Anyway, um, we looked about parts of a fraction. We talked about improper. We talked about mixed. Okay, cool. Now we're going to add and subtract fractions and we're starting off nice and slow with like bases, which means that both numbers on the bottom are the same and makes the problems a lot easier. Okay, so just a reminder, these are the steps that we're going to take. We are going to write all mixed numbers as improper fractions. So we've got to have, we can't have mixed numbers when we're adding. It's just easier to do it that way. Uh, then we're going to add, subtract the numerators, and we're going to keep the denominators, keeping in mind our integer rules. And then we always look to see if we can simplify it, because sometimes that last step needs to be reduced, which is why we practice that on the first page. Okay, cool. So we're going to do a few together. You're going to do a few on your own, and then um, we're just going to look at some word problems. Okay. All right. So uh, number one, there are no mixed numbers. So guess what? We just add them together. One plus five. Whoop, I like to circle that little plus sign. It reminds me what to do. Gives me six. Add a 12, which ding, 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 I can reduce to one half. Okay, cool. Done. All right, not so bad, right? Fractions are our friends. Fractions are our friends. Okay, next one. 11 minus four is going to give me seven over 15. Keep the denominator the same. Uh, I can't reduce, so there's my answer. All right, loving it. Okay, um, number 24. I've got five plus two on the top, which gives me seven over three. Now, Earlier in step three, when they said simplify if needed, I'm going to say uh, in parentheses, write that as a mixed number. Okay, so we're not going to leave um, improper fractions, but guess what? Next year or the next course you take, algebra, you get to totally leave it as improper. So that's kind of fun. You get a skip step. Okay, three goes into seven twice with one left over, and the denominator was a three. So that's two and one third. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to do one more with you. Okay, I'm going to do number 26 with you. Okay, this has some negatives in it, and these are always a little bit harder. I, when I rewrite this, because we have to rewrite it anyway because of the mixed number, I always put the negative sign on the top because it's way, you can't actually put the negative sign on the bottom. So I write it like this, negative 5 over 6 plus, and I'm going to keep the parentheses there because that is when you add a negative, you got to separate them. 6 times 1 is 1, plus 1 is 7. So I write negative 7 over 6 like that. Okay, so let me know if that doesn't make sense. Uh, negative five plus negative seven. I owe someone $5. I owe them seven more. I owe them $12 over six, which reduces to negative two. Okay, and people might say, well, can I write negative two over one? You could, but it's kind of weird. Uh, only when we talk about slope do you want to have like a one in the denominator. Okay, so. I gave you kind of two hard problems to do as on your own because I figured if you can do these, you can do any of them. So take a minute, you guessed it, do number 25 and number 27, okay, as on your own. Um, keep in mind the signs on 27 are a little tricky, so just notice that. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, welcome back. I got negative one and one eighth for number 25. And for number 27, I got negative one and one half. Okay, see me if you have questions, and I'm happy to help, okay? Uh, yeah, we want to be getting these right. Fractions are our friends. Okay, cool. Now let's look at some applications, because again, real world, right? That's why we do this. Okay, 28. Amaya is making bracelets. Um, she has a piece of string that is 12 and a quarter inches long. She cuts off a piece that is eight and three quarter inches long. How much string does she have left? Okay, she cut it off. That's a good indication that it's subtraction. Her piece got smaller, right? So we're going to do the problem 12 and 1 fourth minus 8 and 3 fourths. Ooh. Okay, two big mixed numbers that I got to turn into improper fractions. So 4 times 12 is 48 plus 1 is 49. So I get 49 over 4. Minus 4 times 8 is 32 plus 3 is 35 over four. Okay, cool. 49 minus 35 is 14 over four. And that can reduce to seven over two. Now, 
it would be really weird if Amaya said, I have seven halves inches of string left, right? So again, we got to turn into a mixed number because we don't talk about string like that. So mixed number is three and a half. And then don't forget your units, inches. Okay. So she has three and a half inches of string left. Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna help you set up the next two. We're not gonna solve them, but I think setting it up can be hard. So let's just talk about it. So Marcus is skiing. Yay, another skiing example. He's 860 and one tenth feet up the mountain. Okay, that's weird. That's very precise. <laughs> he descends to 450 and seven tenths feet. What is his change in elevation? Okay, well, that's a fun one. So basically, we're not going to do this, okay? Those numbers are like crazy big. And to be honest, I would have wrote 860.1, and I would have wrote 450.7, and then I would have subtracted them as decimals. But this is a fraction lesson, so they put them in fractions. This is the problem I would do. 860 and 1 tenth minus 450 and 7 tenths, because descends means goes down. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to turn those into improper fractions. So a better way to do that would be decimals. Okay, honestly. Okay, let's look at the last one. Just set it up. Bill has 23 and 4 fifths gallons of water in his aquarium. He adds 18 and 3 fifths more gallons. Okay, he adds it, so plus sign. So 23, this is what the problem looked like. 23 and 4 fifths plus uh, 18 and 3 fifths. And then my answer would be uh, gallons. And then my answer for number 29 would have been feet. Okay, cool. So your homework then is just, um, again, practicing what we did at the top, and then there's about four word problems. So let me know if you get stuck on those word problems, because those tend to be the hardest um, to translate. All right, nice work. Fractions are our friends. Okay, bye.